training. And so those principles then were used in the, fe and the federal civil rights uh, statute that empowered the Justice Department then later under a new law that was passed in about 1993 or 94. Uh, that gave the Justice Department then the power when there was a shooting in a municipality to go in and then conduct a complete review of the police department. So it was an important piece of uh, uh, important piece of legislation. Anyway, the only point of it is is that uh, is that uh, uh, you know I have some experience on the front line of, of, of those kinds of issues and problems. Um, you know, Mike Kelly. I think the difference between me and Mike Kelly is is that Mike Kelly has spent most of his time on the showroom floor of a car dealership and, and, and in Congress and I have, uh, I have fought the civil rights fights. I worked with the Jesuits when they were killing the priests and nuns down in Central America. I traveled down there. I advocated for reducing U.S. military aid to those regions because they were basically funding corrupt governments that were, 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 uh, were uh, victimizing the civilian population and they were killing priests and nuns. Uh, and so I've done a lot of that, and then I came back, and I, I, I've been a lawyer, and I, I've been yeah, yeah, successful yeah. as a lawyer, fortunately, with clients like Muhammad Ali and Jim Brown and, yeah, and Layla Ali. Oh, that's and, his man. Yeah, Jim is, <laughs> is one of my clients. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I've been lucky. <laughs> and uh, and I, my father came from Italy with nothing but a suitcase and a dream and uh, built the house I grew up in and then dropped dead of a heart attack. Mm -hmm. So my mother had to raise three kids, uh, and uh, fortunately we had Social Security. So Social Security is not just a hypothetical for me. It's, it was the difference between survival and not surviving. And then over the years, we've paid that, my brother and sister and I, we've paid that money back in spades, right? We've paid that back big time, which is what America is supposed to do. It's supposed to help you when you're down, help you get back on your feet so you can prosper and make, and make the country better and stronger. Mike Kelly doesn't really understand any of that stuff. And then when I traveled through this district having run, you know, 20 years ago against Phil English and lost by one point. I don't know if you remember that race. But I, I, well, you weren't in the district then. That was not, Lawrence wasn't in the district. But I ran against Phil English, sitting member of Congress. He did nothing. What's, what's that? I said he did Yeah, and I lost by one percentage point. Uh, so, I, but I've been down the road of these races, so I understand it. I think Kelly's vulnerable. I don't think it's going to be easy. Um, uh, but I, I, I plan to fight him tooth and nail uh, and raise the money that's necessary and, uh, and talk to the people and try to, and to, try to do what we can to carry a, town, a county like, Lank, uh, like, like Lawrence, which we have to do in order to be successful. I won Erie County. Uh, I had 90% had of the vote in Erie County, 60% of the vote in Crawford County. And then I think we, we did reasonably well down here. We have, I've only been running for 60 days, so we have a lot of work to do. But I, uh, I, I like running for Congress. Everybody says, well, why are you running for Congress? And I don't really need to run for Congress because my, my kids are grow, growing now. And, uh, you know, my wife and I were actually getting to a point where we might be able to enjoy life a little bit. Right. And all of a sudden, then the Supreme Court came and, t t you know, tore the tablecloth right off the table and basically said, look, we're changing all the maps. And they gave me a district uh, that could be, could be won against a guy like Kelly. And nobody else stood up t to take it. Uh, from the northern part of the district, where, the, where, the, where it's 57 percent of the vote. And so we looked at each other and said, look, it's just our duty to do it. You know, I was in the Marines, I understand duty. You were, uh, I, I know you know about, you know about the great triumphs and tragedies we've had. So that's, what I, that's why I'm in the race. Um, so uh, Lawrence is really important. But the reason I'm really running is because I enjoy talking about the stuff that I get to talk about. Because yeah. it, really, it really is important. I get to have meetings like this that I enjoy so much. So thank you very much for, you know, opening up your home. Let me come by and say hi, and you're going to be no seeing. Bad, and I'll be working for you because now Kelly, he has a, he calls every, you know, the on the phone, and you listen. Yeah. So when they call, I just you pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> That's not American. Huh? That's not American to hang up on a congressman. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay.